So Frank, candidates apply to a job and there is going to be either a phone interview or a face-to-face -face interview. So what tips do you have for job seekers in terms of preparation for interviews? Oh, well, one is study the company. Yeah. Um, and again, it's we, I've heard so many stories of great candidates that have done well. So we have a couple phases of our interview process. One of them is an assessment. Um, so they, they do really well on the assessment side and then they get a phone interview or they get a Zoom interview or even you know, now face to face, depending on the role. And they'll get on the phone with our HR um, or other members of the team that might be part of the interview process. And they don't know, like, the, what attracted you to EBM? You know, what, what about our company did you like? And they're like, you know, I don't know. Um, and and they, they don't have answers. Mm -hmm. There's so much information on our website that they can learn from. So I would say study the company, their website, their LinkedIn, other social profiles. There's a, a lot of lot of things that you could find out there. Just be in, in for, you don't need to know everything and, and an employer is not gonna expect you, but at least know the type of company you're applying for uh, and the information there. And there's a lot on social media with most companies that you can learn from. So for sure, study in the company, um, know the job role and the requirements. I would say, make sure that you what what the what the employer is looking for you actually have the requirements there because a lot of employers will say these types of skills we're looking for so make sure that you are qualified for the job that you're applying for um, and another cool thing is the practice uh, interviews can be intimidating especially if you're looking for a job and you know it's it's a competitive market or a competitive role that you're applying for so practice have someone that you know a friend a family member run you through there's plenty of fake interview questions online that you can download and, and just have someone run you through a bunch of them. You, you might get asked one, um, yeah. but it's, it's, it's at least like the phase one of the interview where you, you'll feel a little bit more calm and it won't be the first time. So sometimes practice is, is something I would say for sure. Um, and then two other things I would say are important. Um, your body language in an interview you know, if you're so, sort of like you're closed off or whatever. So make sure just be conscious of your, your body language, even on Zooms, like me, I talk with my hands a lot, but be conscious of your body language. Um, and also just make sure you're on time. Yeah. Don't be late for a Zoom and don't be late for a face-to-face -face, uh, interview for sure. If you have to commute, make sure that you give yourself enough time, you know the directions ahead of time. You know, so many times we've had people you know, just not late, 20 minutes late for a Zoom um, or just showing up to an interview late because they didn't have, you know, oh, I didn't get the directions right or something. So planning, just you know, don't get disqualified for something that's so preventable. 